Well everyone, it's time for us to go and do a quick little comparison between the iPhone 12 and the iPhone SE 3 and see which specific phone you should go ahead and buy in 2023. Now, the funny thing is both these phones are pretty much, as of right now, the cheapest iPhones Apple is selling. Well, when the iPhone 15s come out, I'm sure it's going to change up a little bit, but let's go and see how both of them compare. If you want to buy either one of these iPhones, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off with the outside, the iPhone 12, which is $599 right now, but it could change very soon, came out in 2020 and it is, you know, on the front having a 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display. And it is a very good panel. I mentioned this last year. I mentioned this every year since the iPhone 12 came out. It's a very good panel with a decent resolution. And I think that is something that's really cool with this type of device that although, you know, it is still a little bit pricey, it is a very, very good phone with that panel on the front. And that is something that's really awesome. Now with the iPhone SE 3, you are getting a smaller 4.7 inch Retina IPS panel on that device. The resolution is not nearly as good, but I will still say it's a pretty good looking device. The resolution is okay, and overall, although the panel itself is okay, the rest of the body on the iPhone SE 3 doesn't really look that great. It is a very older, outdated type of body, and that is something that I've never really been the biggest fan of of the iPhone SE 3, because it does look like a little bit of an older device. You know, we all kind of know this, it's no secret. So again, that's just one of those things you're going to have to keep in mind with that specific device. Now, another big thing is that with both of them, they both have lightning ports. They both have a lot of the, you know, Apple things going on with the outside, you know, with Touch ID, Face ID, those kinds of things. IP certification on both phones as well. On the back, glass backs, and we have the camera systems in the top left we'll get into in a second. Wireless charging, MagSafe capability on the iPhone 12, which is pretty big. And overall, the iPhone SE 3 is a much smaller phone compared to the iPhone 12. But I'll still say the iPhone 12 is a, you know, it's a bigger phone, but it's definitely better in a lot of different ways as well. And the iPhone 12 definitely looks like the better phone on the outside for sure. In the camera department, the iPhone SE 3 has that single 12 megapixel wide angle lens. The iPhone 12 has that dual camera setup, a wide and ultra wide camera. And for sure, without a doubt, the iPhone 12 is a way better looking, you know, camera for sure. You have 4K at 60 on the back of both them, but you have 4K at 60 on the front of the iPhone 12, where the iPhone SE 3 can only do 1080p, you know? So that is just another one of those things that I've just never been the biggest fan of of the iPhone SE lineup. And I feel like Apple really has to go through and actually improve that camera because they haven't really done that yet. So in my opinion, you're definitely getting for sure a way better camera for a fact on the iPhone 12 than on the iPhone SE 3 for sure. In terms of software longevity, this is where things get a little bit complicated a little bit because with the iPhone SE 3, you are actually getting a better, probably a longer lasting phone from that device than from something like the iPhone 12. So that is something you probably wouldn't expect, but the iPhone 12, the iPhone SE 3 is probably going to be the one that's going to last the longest here over the iPhone 12. So I think that's going to be something that's very interesting. Again, I guess we'll see what happens in the future there, but as of right now, that's pretty much what we're seeing as of, as of this point. Now, in terms of the iPhone, you know, comparison in terms of performance, the iPhone SE 3 has that Apple A15 bionic chip inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 12 has that Apple A14 bionic chip inside of it for four gigabytes of RAM on that device. And from my, from what I'm basically seeing as of this point, you are basically getting a longer lasting phone once again and a better performing phone from the iPhone, you know, SE3 than from the iPhone, as than from the iPhone 12. So that's another pretty big crazy thing going on between both these devices. You would never think that a phone that looks like the iPhone SE3 is the faster one here. But that is basically what's going to happen. But that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be the iPhone that's going to always feel the fastest. Because of the, uh, you know, gesture-based design on the iPhone 12, you are definitely getting a feeling like that iPhone is definitely faster or performs faster or smoother. So that's just another thing to kind of keep in mind. But between both, I would say the iPhone SE3 is probably the faster one, but the iPhone 12 is still a very fast phone too. So to kind of sum it up, what I'll definitely tell you is between both these devices, these are very good phones and I like them a lot. But the iPhone 12 is a much better phone in pretty much every single area than the iPhone SE 3. And I would rather probably pay more money for an iPhone 12 than an iPhone SE 3. But you can buy an iPhone 12 in the used market for even cheaper than an SE 3. So you might as well just go do that rather than buying a brand new iPhone, you know, buying a brand new iPhone SE 3 in my opinion. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.